Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. Happy 2018. We're just stepping right into it here. Um, before we begin with your early January reading, just wanted to um, uh, let you know that we might be going to be doing something a little different this month. Instead of having two major chunks of reading, the 1st to the 15th and the 15th to the 31st, I'm going to be sectioning it off into quarters. Okay, so one reading for each week, uh, so four readings in total. The first two will constitute the first and the 15th of the month, and those will be free just like the rest of the uh, readings that I've been doing uh, for the past months. And the 15th to the 31st will be paid uh, just like the last few months, and the same sort of protocol with that, which you can purchase via the link below in the bio description box. Okay, now. 15th and 31st readings will be delivered as one single reading and they'll be sectioned into two. So you get one for each week. Then the first two weeks of the month, I'm going to be doing them as separate videos. This one that I'm doing now will be pertaining to the first to the seventh of the month and the second video will be pertaining to the eighth to the 14th. Okay, so let's get right into it. Aries with this with this reading here, again, pertaining to the first to the seventh of this month. Now, Aries, I was meditating on your energy. Something has caught your eye, your attention. I'm getting emotionally, though. Something, something, something is emotionally, um, I'm hearing, inspiring you as well. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, and I'm going to be pulling one card for each day. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Sun of Pentacles upright. Fool in reverse, mirroring this wheel of fortune right behind the Son of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right behind the Fool. The Strength card upright, beautiful, mirroring this Fool in reverse, okay. Five, six, seven, beautiful energy here, beautiful energy with the Son of Wands, okay, mirroring Strength. You are coming into your form in some shape or form. I'm hearing Pisces for you. I'm hearing Sagittarius and Capricorn. You are, I'm hearing bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. There's something that has really, really, really inspired you. You're super excited, Aries, about um, what it is that you are creating by way of your imagination. And there's a focus here on imagination. And um, what we're seeing here is that there you realize is um, a series of events that lead you to feel this sort of feeling. And it could have been cyclical. This could, this, this could have happened uh, in the past before, and you're like, okay, every time I do this, or every time this happens, I'm like, I'm hearing I'm Superman, I'm supercharged, I'm, I'm ready to take it on, okay? And I'm hearing specifically, I'm ready to take on the world. What is it that contributes to this sense of um, security in who you are specifically, I'm hearing, and in what it is that you envision to create? Now, you have stepped into the beginning of the year with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Son of Pentacles looking over the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Whatever it is that you feel um, is changing, okay, and there may be the feeling that things are changing, things are to change, okay. You don't want it to just be a change for the sake of change. You're like, just because it's the 2018 year, I'm not, I'm not gonna go, I'm here posting on my Instagram XYZ that, that I am XYZ. It's like, it's the change is gonna happen, it's gonna be real, and I want it to be real and authentic, and in order for that to happen, I want to move into it naturally and authentically. And if that is the case, Aries, you are taking the steps that are needed to ground this new beginning in a way that holds meaning for you, not just in the moment that, <clears throat> excuse me, you make the change happen, but in the, <laughs> excuse me, wow, it's okay. But in the long term, okay, in the long term, <clears throat> and I've been getting this feeling for you, Aries, the past few months, I remember this, the focus being on creation, on a new beginning, but as well the longevity of that, of that, that I'm your adventure and that vision as well, being just as important. You're getting ready to make this jump in some shape or form, but it's not yet, not quite, I'm hearing <clears throat> timing wise, okay, the time. And what's more important to you at this point in time is the readiness for the sort of persona that you take on as you move into this new beginning. And um, it's especially energetically. So it's like if you've been feeling kind of low on energy, the, the focus is on uh, regaining that sense of, uh, I'm hearing also 
conviction, okay, the sense of, I'm hearing promise of why it is that we feel connected to what it is that we have the vision for, that we feel we want to create into the future. And there is um, a, I'm hearing sideline focus on a certain closing of a certain chapter that has to do with finances and career. I'm hearing profession, profession wise. Um, but it's not yet fully closed out, and we're seeing this just around the 5th uh, on the day that I'm recording this, about the 4th, the 5th. Of course, energy is fluid, right? It may permeate a little before the 5th, a little after. Um, and of course, it's general reading, so it may resonate differently for everyone. But there is the focus in a certain way, not in, an, in, a, in a super direct way, like, okay, I'm, I'm, I know that whatever I'm engaging in now, my contract is going to end. I know that uh, the strategy that I put into place in terms of my business plan is in a certain way to terminate, is going to change and transform. But I'm not dealing with that yet. What I'm dealing with is what inspires me. Okay, I'm here to begin again. And so it's this forward motion and movement that again, may not take, um, I'm hearing impetus quite yet, may not be um, implemented quite yet, but is being prepared for energetically. Now, you have the Seven of Cups, Seven seven of Swords, okay, I'm going to say Seven of Cups, you, you have this Nine of Cups in your theme, okay, overlaying the Seven of Cups, overlaying the world in reverse, okay, overlaying the Mother of Wands, I'm getting this is your own energy, Aries, Overlaying the lovers, overlaying the daughter of cups. Okay, there is a certain storyline that is emotional that you are coming to terms with, that you're trying to make sense of, that you're trying to also culminate, to finish off, to make and to feel conclusive with. And I'm hearing by. Um, you feel that whatever this emotional experience has, and perhaps it could be from the past, has. Um, brought you to set up certain, I'm hearing boundaries, visions, visions, boundaries of visions, certain markers of, I'm hearing resistance as well, in terms of how it is that we uh, perceive emotional, uh, I'm hearing as well, opportunities to find their, their way to us, okay? You are and have been taking on a sort of, um, uh, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing super, I'm hearing super stardom. Okay, super stardom. Something about um, almost uh, feeling above the realm of emotions. I'm getting this in the past in a certain way, perhaps, whereby you feel the focus for me is on what it is that I'm creating on my domain. The emotional values that I have, I'm hearing worked through, I'm also hearing been challenged by, are not the determining factor. Okay, for change, I'm hearing specifically. And the focus is on creation, what it is that you're manifesting. Um, now, I'm hearing the nitty gritty of the emotional experiences, yet again, are not placing, um, I'm hearing, rearing their head in the way that tips you out of balance. Um, you remain balanced, but the focus is on understanding exactly what this emotional experience, I'm hearing, aligned in a certain way for you. Now, be it a relationship you and another, be it a certain individual um, who who has uh, reflected these these I'm hearing principles, these ideologies in a certain way for you. I'm hearing also again challenge the paradigm of perception of emotions, uh, or yet again be it you and yourself. What's being challenged here, Aries, is the concept and the paradigm of emotionalism, flat out. Okay. It's the concept of relation, relationships, partnerships. What role do they play in what we consider to be the world? Okay, but you realize that again that, well, what is the world? Is the world what the world is? Or is it the world that I'm creating? And the focus that I'm seeing here for you is on a certain form of independence that is transmuting how you have entertained certain emotional experiences in the past. Um, okay, now there... Um, is this propensity though, <laughs> and you have the Son of Cups and the, and, the, and the Daughter of Cups both mirroring the Mother of Wands. Again, I'm feeling this is your own energy, but take it as you will. The focus, okay, being on this sort of character play, and I'm here to resonance, what, what role do I, do I feel I can take on? 
not completely I'm here as an independent being and not completely as I'm here a dependent being where I'm not emotionally dependent on another person but I'm also not emotionally I'm here barricaded where I'm emotionally receptive but not I'm here overpowered by how my emotions are to merge with that of another's in a certain way and there's a, there's this um, I'm hearing emotional maturation that comes through here for you uh, the focus being on the ideology set through Let's get right into the next week's reading, approximately spanning the 8th to the 14th. So you feel free to click through that video and we'll see what comes through for that week of the month. Bye, Aries.